listening to KDVS 90.3 FM, KDVS.org, and today we are joined by Buddha Trixie. How's it going, guys? Great. Really good. Going great. Could we get a quick introduction of the band? Who plays what and who is who? Absolutely. Uh, I'm Dennis. I play bass. I'm Andrew. I play guitar. My name is Kenzo, and I play keyboard and guitar. I'm Daniel, and I play drums and sing. Awesome. And where are you guys from? We're from San, San Diego. Diego. And Kenzo's from Fullerton. Yeah, that's true. Awesome. <laughs> And Kenzo and Dennis, you guys are Davis residents for the for the time being. Is that right? You yeah, guys go to school out here? We live in the same house. We're friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. We just heard a very ethereal set from you guys. Really great sounding. Thank you. I've never l seen the studio look this good before, but uh, it's been really great. Could you guys talk a bit more about the music writing process? Like, how, have you, how do you go into the studio? How do you write your songs? Is it just one person running the show, or is it a collective effort? Do you want to tackle that one? Um, so we are all going to like separate schools besides these two. So most of the writing happens like either when we can finally get together or like alone, we'll like come up with an idea, but then we'll, we like wait to hash out the idea when we like get to meet up and stuff like that. Um, and then usually we have the song like 85% figured out when we go into the studio and we figure it out the rest there with, uh, John Wilde, who was in here earlier. Um. I'd just like to add, like, a lot of our songs are instrumentally based, first right. of all, when it comes for writing, so lyrics and singing can typically uh, come in afterward, but once yeah. we all submit for, it together. For the longest time, I didn't know, like, a lick of music, chords, all that jazz, so I would just kind of, I would get stems from these guys, like, oh, here's the song we're working on, and I'd write over it, but never with any idea what I was doing, so I was never really contributing that much musically. And, uh, but I'm melody, working on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, no, the beautiful the melodies, melodies, yeah. Except for the beautiful soaring <laughs> melodies. That was me. But yeah, Ethereal. so that's why normally the, the or that one part in Plastic Paradise. Boom, 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 boom. That was me. But it was <laughs> also got a couple Kurt ideas Cobain here and, and Nirvana first. And <laughs> oh, we Archie noticed that. Fox we <laughs> noticed that. <laughs> How about that reminds me of Foxy Lady. That's what I always thought it sounded like. That's what I thought you guys. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Listen to the song. On our new record, Stop the Space Age. New old record. On our new record that's been out for a year. <laughs> <laughs> we're just now promoting. <laughs> Sorry, so we're going to go on a lot of tangents like that. That's cool. You guys seem like you're great friends, and you guys have been playing for a while, so. We're really good at pretending. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's very hard to describe your music because there were some bits that were super quiet, and I really like the, the ability that you guys have to transition from those really beautiful melodic passages into those really hard-hitting stuff. Could you talk a bit more about your influences? What kind of bands are you listening to? What kind of bands did you grow up on? Did that shape your, your sound at all? or? I think we each came from like opposite corners when it uh, came to music. Like There well, are more... You mean like us three... Well. Not in the ca terms of us three. Us three, we, like, grew up listening to the same music. My brother, like, is super big on, like, finding music. And so he would always, like, find music, and then he'd be playing, because we shared a room, and then I would be like, oh, I like that, and I would take it all. And then I would, for Christmas presents, I'd burn CDs for these guys of, like, massive amounts of songs that my and brother had Christmas found. Christmas presents, oh, okay. we'd buy him presents. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, God. Should we name names? Uh, yeah, we, yeah, sure. I definitely, like, at least in terms of drums i feel very inspired by like the classic like Jimi hendrix like mitch mitchell john bonham those guys i love chad smith so i love kind of like the the old school but also a little bit of you know i'm getting really into some of the more new stuff in terms of being a singer i really like, like and home shake and mild high club and, and like m83 like and m83. stuff we try we want to channel some m83 like magisterial vibes and some uh what else big Tame Impala. Yeah. Tame Impala. Uh, <laughs> I for sure I appreciate dynamics in songs, and when it comes to like some of the instrumental, like delay, reverb, that sort of thing, definitely like explosions in yeah. the sky totally. and Sigur yeah. Ross as well. Yeah, but we could definitely tell that there was some type of post rock influence yeah. in there. It's definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Zo. Oh. oh, you have him. I'll just take two. Uh, Kenzo yeah, grew up I on guess, his own. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's a little he different. Grew I grew up on different stuff than you guys. Uh, but I s still do think we have a lot of influences. The one I'd say is like we we try to sound like Pink Floyd sometimes. Maybe we're not trying, oh, but like yeah, yeah. that's definitely How do we forget about a that? major influence. So I'd say we all share that one. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, I'll just take a third one too. <laughs> so yeah, we definitely. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, awesome. And Kenzo, you actually played in another Davis band, Nobby. My band, Nobby. Yeah. Yeah. Play, we played KDVS. Uh, we I played got, this, this. I got session. a Nobby pin on right now. We yeah. got Nobby stickers in the back, so Ooh. we're big Nobby fans in the sta- at the station. Yeah. That's what I like That's to hear. What's up? That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys talked about a new album coming out. When can the fans expect that? No, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I meant Bruno Trixie. Uh, well, oh, we, no. we have to write it first. Oh, okay. Okay. We when have we, we have a song. When we were saying we, we have one our song. New album, we yeah. meant uh, Stop the Space Age, which has been out since last June. Yeah. But it's just we play so infrequently that it's really we're hard to all trying about. to finish school. Yeah, we're and getting then out of school we'll and then and then hopefully we can ramp it up. Yeah, we're trying to record like at some point this year. Summer. This summer. Yeah, we're hoping to get like maybe a, a few singles and maybe an EP out this year. Are all of you in your senior year? Yes. Yep. Yes. Dennis has already graduated, and then we're just we're just all I'm getting. There. I'm gonna be a, a bon- I'm have a bonus quarter. One one bonus quarter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not a fifth year, just a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> Sound a little bit defensive about that. Yeah, yeah. What's <laughs> that? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> guys, stop. <laughs> what's your GPA? Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> so, what can we expect from the new album? Is it more of the same, or are you guys veering off into a slightly more experimental direction? Or I feel like, at least for me, like thematically and lyrically. There was, for real and Stop the Space Age, it, I kind of focused thematically on very, like, fantastical kind of, like, what I thought was, like, rock star and cool of me to say. Like, every th- I, I think I want to try to... You're not making yourself sound cool. I know, exactly. <laughs> but so, and I think there's, like, to some degree, I, d- I don't want to, like, I want to try and be a little bit more, like, honest with myself, I feel like. And I feel like I've been... I've just, like, learned a lot in my years growing up through college and stuff, and I've, like, developed a lot emotionally and in terms of my maturity, and I have a lot more to say than just, like, I like space now. Right. That's what's up. Let's go with that. Honesty is what you can expect. Do you think that that, that yeah. self-realization and, ma- and maturing will reflect in your lyrics as, as you've been writing for Absolutely. longer Definitely. now? Definitely. Yeah, one thing that John Wilde was telling me in recording Stop the Space Age was this quote from, I think, the Modest Mouse singer that's, like, paraphrasing here but um it's like the best lyrics are ones you're embarrassed by and like just kind of i feel like i really have been getting into a lot of kind of like bedroom pop artists where it's like kind of their whole thing is it's not like that flashy but it's just like it kind of feels just like honest very honest and it's like like home shake and stuff and like like bane's world or whatever it's like they're not really trying too hard they're just kind of like I smoke weed and I hang out and I I'm sad about this. Not that you know base level of <laughs> of uh. Hey, dude, that's their truth. It's their truth, and they're living <laughs> it to the best of their. <laughs> I'd say genre-wise, it's gonna continue to be an eclectic grab bag. Yeah. Right? Um, where we'll go one minute post rock and the next minute we'll be like poppy alternative. Right. So All in the same song. Yeah. 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 <laughs> awesome. <laughs> On the same 19 minute. <laughs> Epic. And then all of a sudden we'll go into a big old solo or something, a big old. Oh yeah, they're definitely gonna be solos. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so you guys have played in Davis before. How was the last house show you played here? I believe it's at Dennis's house. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Kenzo and I live together, so both of our Stonehenge. houses. Okay. There's yeah, Stonehenge. No, that, was, that was super fun, man. Yeah, yeah it was I a great time. House shows in Davis. How's the the reaction? Stellar. Good. Yeah. It was yeah. Really good. It was really good. It we had. Like there's a lot of people. Right? At the at the end of real, we had people doing like the hip hop. Hey. Hey, on the off beat. Oh, that's e- always a good one. Even though Dang it's it. like a psych rock jam. So and we didn't even have to tell them to. They just yeah, did no, it. Yeah, no, they just yeah. did it. Yeah. And then I think I posted a video of it, and then people started doing it at the next show in San Diego. No way, really? Yeah, they did yeah, it at so much. You're, you're going to hate this. I've been, I've been wanting that to happen. Like, eight, eight, eight. <laughs> Put your hands in the air. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so, yeah. upcoming, we have Arm Fright, Operation Restore Maximum Freedom. That is KDVS's annual festival be there if you want to yeah. um, are you guys excited to play there absolutely yeah, yeah. it's a great lineup yeah. so Nobby's stoked. playing as well Nobby. and uh, my brother's Kenzo's band Gromit is playing too so. Gromit's actually playing in Studio A yeah, as well next week, next oh, week. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm su- I just got into Jerry Paper they, they seem really cool so yeah. and together at Pangea we they Played were on the same the festival frights. bill as us but I'm excited to see them again so. right yeah they're cool I mean they're big in SoCal right absolutely yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Other than that, any other shows planned? Other like shows. A potential yeah. house show again. Yeah. yeah. We right. also yeah. have uh, Whole Earth Fest next weekend, right? And then also 
Noise yeah, for the Noble. Noise for the Noble. Which is in Chapman University. Is that a it's, private show? It's, or is it, that no, it's, well, it's, it, no, anyone can come. But it, yeah, it's come. just like, right. it's one of the Adelphos fraternities is doing something for philanthropy. Yeah. It's United Way is the and charity. And there's also We Fest. We Fest in, in San, San Diego. Diego. We got a lot of dates. It's all on our Instagram, our yeah. Twitter, <laughs> our sure. Spotify. Our at Buddha Trixie. I think I dropped the mic at Buddha Trixie. I guess so. The, the you guys are a part of so many different scenes. So you have the San Diego scene and the, the Davis scene and then the general Bay Area scene. What scene do you feel really resonates with you or supports your music? Um, I'd say because we've been playing there the longest. So San Diego is the ones that has the most diehard fans as of right now that we've come in contact with. Oh, yeah. Which kind of weird. Some We have like some listeners on Spotify that I don't think have ever even seen us live. Like our highest listenership is in L.A., but we don't really even play there. So like. We're not kind of unsure how to even tap into that. Play in L.A. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're in L.A. and you own a venue, <laughs> please let us play there. <laughs> yeah, um, awesome. But, yeah, I I also really like da- how we have dove into, like, the college scene or whatever. Like, oh, yeah. just, like, in our respective schools, it's always fun to be, like, oh, like, the boys are coming to, like, my school to do this. And it's, like, kind of like a little bit of a showing off for your friends. Like, look at how cool my band is, guys. <laughs> Come check us out. Oh, God. I like it. I <laughs> think it's cool. That show we played at Chapman, the art one, whatever that was. Remember that one? Like this summer? If you don't remember it, I remember yeah. it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was like one of the best shows we've ever It's played. all a joke fest. Yeah, that was so That fun. was really cool. That was like Orange County's had some well. amazing responses. Like Orange County crowds have been really great for us. Awesome. So. San Diego like knows the lyrics and stuff. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it's because the college kids are all drunk. That's why. Yeah. They like to party. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we do too. <laughs> So, guys, where can people find your music? Where can they follow you on social media? You can find our music on any of the major streaming services, like Spotify, Spotify Tidal, Apple. Apple Music, SoundCloud. Um, we're on Bandcamp. Bandcamp. Tidal. YouTube, T- I already yeah. said Tidal. Yeah, but just really <laughs> get it in there. <laughs> we can't just keep YouTube, reusing the Yeah, Bandcamp. Tidal. We're definitely trying to build a YouTube presence. That's, like, a big goal of mine this year is, like, put a bunch more video content out, which – Thank you guys vlogging, for accommodating you know? us. Um, Shout out to the boys Huck and Ryan for always yes, putting in hard work. Thank you guys yeah. behind the cameras. Show, it, show each other. Huge oh. solid. Oh. Oh. Yes. So yeah, a couple uh, music videos on the way and in the works. Uh, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere. Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. <laughs> At Buddha Trixie. <laughs> At Buddha Trixie. That's yeah. Buddha Trixie. T R I H I. <laughs> oh, you just start spelling over him as the <laughs> worst possible. <laughs> yeah, did at the same time. <laughs> awesome. Well, this has been Live in Studio A, KDVS 90.3 Davis, KDVS.org. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did in the studio. If you want to see Buddha Trixie again, you can see them at ORMF. They're going to be playing at Operation Restore Maximum Freedom. And what date is that? May 26th. May 26th. Yes. Looking forward to it. Thank you guys so much for being here. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you so us. much. This was awesome.